Okay, let's go over how to install the Epic Games Store on a Steam Deck. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your terminal. We're going to be downloading a program called Lutris. Now, Lutris has some optional dependencies that won't be automatically installed that we'll want. So, to look at those, you'll do pacman dash s i and then Lutris. Then you can see here the optional dependencies listed. Alright, so next to download it, you'll want sudo for admin pacman dash capital S, then Lutris, wine, then you'll also want wine tricks, you'll also want wine mono, then you'll want VKD 3D and lib32 VKD 3D. Hit enter, type in your password, hit Y to continue, and wait for everything to download and install. After it's finished, you can exit out of your terminal. Then after everything is installed, you'll want to find Lutris. For me, it's in the games tab, then Lutris is right there. Open it and then open a web browser. Now you want to go to lutris.net. You'll want to search for the Epic Games Store. Click on it. Click install. It'll ask for permission to open the link. Give it permission. Then you'll see Lutris opens an install prompt. You'll hit install. You can pick a directory. I'm going to leave it default. Hit install. Wait for it to download. Uh, download these two and hit continue. Hit install on this. Alright, when it's finished, you can safely close out of this. And you can see it shows up. If we click on it, see some settings pop up. This is this little wine glass is symbol for wine. If you hit the up arrow, you can bring up the configuration for it. Now in Lutris, it's per instance. That's why we downloaded it. Uh, because it's nice to be able to change these per game and whatever. And if you right click it and hit configure. Uh, you can change the launch options. I like to disable VKD 3D for the storefront because I have issues with it on the storefront, but you'll probably want to make separate launchers in Lutris for all your games and enable VKD 3D on them. But for the storefront, I have issues, so I disable it. Hit save. Alright, then if you hit play, the first time will probably take a while. Alright, there we go. There's the sign-up screen. Everything's up and working. I'm not going to sign in because I'm in a virtual machine and I don't need to, but you can go ahead and everything should just work. Alright, so some more info about Lutris. It's right here. We can see some runners. We hit there. We have settings manage. manage. We have the settings for it. Now, runners are things Lutris use to run games. So there are a bunch of emulators in here. So. PC, PCS X2, you can see uh, Yuzu, uh, Dolphin, you know, you can use those to play basically any other game you'd need to. And then also, if you're a bit more curious about what's going on, uh, if we right click this, go to the configure, we can see the directory it's in. So we open our file browser and go to that directory. You can go to home and then games and the Epic Game Store. Then we can see Drive C. Now, this should be familiar. This is replicating the Windows directory structure. So, this is where the store is installed and it can make all its Windows calls. And I think it's in a Windows 
environment. So this is where all of the files will be. And if we go to here to DOS devices, we can see a C drive and a Z drive. Right, the C drive is a sim link to the fake Windows directory, and the Z drive is a sim link to the root directory of your Linux system. See ya!